Hey guys, Metal Old Driver here, back with another WWE Elite Review. And today I'll be looking at the Elite Ruthless Aggression, Shawn Michaels. On the side you get an image of Shawn, then on the back you get another image, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. And you'll notice that this seal that says the best of Ruthless Aggression with that WWE logo in the middle is very similar to the ones that the old Jax figures used to have. Alright, so that was the box, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at HBK. And here is the Heartbreak Kid out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a pair of open hands, so that way you can do his entrance pose or tell someone to suck it. Then he also comes with a Timekeeper's ring bell, which you might be thinking, this is kind of random. But what this is, is a throwback to when the WWE toys were produced by Jack Pacific. And way back then, that was before we got the accessories such as interchangeable hands, interchangeable heads, all that cool stuff we get now. Yeah, back then you would get, every now and then you would get a championship belt or some sort of entrance piece. But most of the figures came with these random pieces of accessories, random pieces of furniture, random items such as a dumbbell, a toilet, or a bedpan. So this is pretty cool, nice little throwback to that. And more specific, this and the figure is a throwback or an homage to the Ruthless Aggression Series 29 Shawn Michaels figure, which had this exact same attire design and this exact same accessory. So that's a neat little Easter egg. Now unfortunately he does not come with an entrance vest, neither did the original Ruthless Aggression Series 29 Shawn, so I'm assuming that's probably why we didn't get one which sucks, but if you did want to put something over Shawn Michaels, you could always use a custom shirt, because he did wear that door during his last couple years from his run, or you can use that WrestleMania Elite Shawn Michaels, the new generation one that had that black entrance vest with the uh, dangling crosses, which is very similar to the one he wore with this attire. The color scheme is different on that one. It was, it was white and black, whereas the Elite is black and silver, so it won't be accurate, but you can use it if you need something, and it won't look too bad. Then taking a closer look at the head scan and it is the same one as the SummerSlam Elite Sean that we recently got which is a good choice because it is pretty accurate to how Sean looks in fact I think it has a great likeness to HBK now the only minor little gripe or complaint that I would have is that this head scan kind of looks a little bit lifeless kind of like he lost his smile again so it'd be nice in the near future we get an updated 2000s head scan with a smiling expression because usually when I think of Sean Michaels I think of him smirking, so I think that would be much better, definitely better suited for HBK. Now I know we get those with the two Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, which is cool, but it would be nice to get that for a Ruthless Aggression HBK. But aside from that, again, great likeness, really good paint on this. The lips, the eyes, the eyebrows look good. Same thing with the facial hair, the stubble looks good. Hair sculpted very well, good paint there. So nice all the way around. Taking a look at his body, it's pretty much the same Sean body that we see on all the Elite figures. We get pinless, double-jointed elbows. His tattoos painted pretty well. This one doesn't look that crisp or clean in the line work, but that's probably just mine. It does have color, which is nice because the WrestleMania one that was released not too long ago did not have paint on the tattoo. And he's got some white wrist tape on both sides. Then taking a look at the pants, on the lower body. It's got a red and white color scheme, which is what sold me on this figure because this really pops. I think it looks really good, much better than the black and white. Looking at the waist, the belt is painted well, so are the buckles. Nice good line work on the black lines here. The hearts look really good, painted very well. Same thing on the other side, so looks like it has good paint. Nice good clean line work, HBK. Lettering right here looks really good. Good line work here on the black parts. With the exception of this right here is missing some slight paint. It is a minor imperfection, not really a big deal. And it's the only one that I see, so everything else looks really good. The crosses look good, the silver's on the crosses. The silver line going here that's supposed to be the zipper looks good. Black lines look good. Same thing on this side. So really nice, really well done. And then the feet are painted really well. And I would expect so because... It's not really a whole lot of paint, it's just silver right here and here, and that looks good. Now going over the articulation head, he's on a ball joint, it looks slightly up, looks that far down, can turn side to side and tilt very well. Shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around, there is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a little bit tight there, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, he crunches that far forward, goes that far back, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, he has a thigh cut that's ooh, a bit tight on mine. Let's check out this one right here. Hmm. 
they're both pretty tight. Yeah, the right thigh on mine is pretty tight, but the left one can twist, so I'm going to have to heat that up. Double jointed knees, and the ankle goes that high up, that far down, so not the best range there, but he does have some really good ankle pivot. Alright, here's the new Ruthless Aggression Elite Shawn Michaels next to the WrestleMania Elite Shawn that we recently got. Then here he is next to that same figure, but with a swapped head. A much better head in my opinion. Here he is next to the SummerSlam Elite Shawn Michaels. And finally, here he is next to the Amazon exclusive Ultimate Edition DX Triple H. So, what are my final thoughts on the new elite ruthless aggression Shawn Michaels I really love this figure I think it was executed very well the paint came out very nicely on the pants and as I mentioned I really like the red and white color scheme. It really pops more so than the black and white from the SummerSlam one. The head scan is really good. It has a great likeness to Shawn Michaels. I would like to see one with a smirk or a smile, but that's not enough for me to say that this figure is not good. The only thing that kind of sucks is that this figure could have really benefited from fisted hands so he can properly do the HBK pose. I know the SummerSlam one did not have fisted hands either, and an entrance vest would have been really cool, but I'm going to assume that we don't have that because it's kind of a throwback and an homage to the Ruthless Aggression Jax version of this figure. It's got the same attire, the same accessory. It's a cool Easter egg, but I still would have preferred having an entrance vest. So if you were to ask me which Sean do I prefer, this one or the SummerSlam one? Well, the SummerSlam one does have an entrance vest. It's a more complete looking figure, but I just, I really like the colors on this one, so I'm leaning more towards this figure. So with that said, I think he's certainly worth picking up. It's a cool figure. Now, one thing I forgot to mention with the Brock Lesnar, one that I reviewed, which if you haven't seen that video, what are you doing? Go see that. Go watch it. Is that this entire wave is a Walmart exclusive wave. And if you watched any of my videos in the past, you'll know that I absolutely hate store exclusive figures. Because depending on where you live, the distribution of those waves may be good or they may be bad. And considering this is a Walmart exclusive, Walmart is notorious for having bad distribution. So if you don't have a Walmart near you, or if you do and it's the only one in town, you may not even get this set at that store. And worst of all, if you live in a country that doesn't even have a Walmart, then you may never see this figure at retail. So that to me really hurts the collectors. I think it sucks. I wish we could do away with store exclusives, but I still think it's worth it. I know right now on eBay, the prices are about 40 bucks. I have the cheapest I've seen is 35 I don't know if that's going to fluctuate, but if you can find one at those prices and you live outside the U.S., away from a Walmart, I'd say pick it up at those prices. I know that may be hard right now due to the way the world is and how everything is inflated, but I still think it's worth getting. So, pick them up, add them to your collection. That way Sean doesn't lose his smile again. And if you want to help me get my smile, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video, leave a comment down below. Just like Young Voice said on the Brock Lesnar review, yes, let's go, I've been waiting for this review, I need this figure. Check out my social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.